And CBS 2's Valerie Castro is following this breaking story. She's live in the Pelham Bay section of the Bronx with the latest. Valerie. Christine, right now police are still here on the scene talking to residents at the home where this all took place. The investigation into how officers used a taser in this situation is just getting started. A woman visibly upset outside the home where Wednesday night an emotionally disturbed man was subdued by police with a taser but later died. Police say they were called to the home at 1840 Mayflower Avenue in Pelham Bay around 530 and they were told a man was threatening a neighbor with a knife. Police sources say when three officers and a sergeant arrived, the 45-year-old man began to threaten them with a broken bottle. Police used a taser on him, and sources say when he refused arrest, they had to use it a second time. The man went into cardiac arrest. Officers performed CPR, and he was taken to Einstein Hospital, but pronounced dead. Just three weeks ago, the NYPD came under fire when an officer used a gun to subdue Deborah Danner, an emotionally disturbed woman in the Bronx. Police say she confronted them swinging a baseball bat and she died after being shot. The officers involved were criticized for their use of force. Ed Mullins with the Sergeant's Benevolent Association reacted to tonight's incident. I think that this case just goes to prove how wrong that the commissioner was, the chief patrol was, to make the determination that, you know, we should have done A and not, uh, you know, the choice that we made because here's what still could occur. Mullen says he is calling for more training for officers in these ever evolving situations. It is unclear if the man who died had any pre existing medical conditions. Reporting live in the Pelham Bay section of the Bronx, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.